What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today in our Rams online user franchise. It is week nine going up against Sam Seahawks. He's four and three, so it looks like things are turning around a decent bit for him. Of course, I'm almost certain we did play him earlier in the season, and I can't remember the results. Oh, that worked out. Nice. <laughs> of course, I don't think we had a player of the week because... Uh, What's his face? Oops, that's MVP. Uh, Derek decided he wanted to have a bunch of yards with Johnson. Thanks, Derek. Of course, it wasn't really his fault. The uh, the opponent had a, a very slow corner on him, so you can't really blame him. The big thing for today, though, which is probably already in the title, is that OJ Howard has been suspended for one week in the league. He finally, all these weeks, all these years, he finally got caught for his combination of Red Bull and Monster. And a little bit of heroin, but no, 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 talk about that. Uh, but yeah, he's going to be benched for the week. But it gives us a chance for Tucker Brennan to get a shot at the starting role. So obviously, he's not going to become the starter unless he's. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's physically possible. Simply put, he doesn't even have aggressive trait. But he could be a little fun number two. So you know, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do with him. Of course, the main goal is to win. The main goal is to get the ball to the receivers anyway. So this is going to be a good week for us to try that out. Of course. Thankfully, we have a bye week coming up because we do not have Chris Jones anymore for the foreseeable future. Maybe week 15, he comes back, something like that. Or even later, he might be like just at the playoffs. Unfortunately, that injury was brutal. Uh, we do have some upgrades, and by some, I mean Taylor Rapp. Taylor, 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 hear me out. Hear me out, buddy. Please, please just get a speed upgrade. I, it's not that much to ask for. Back in scheme fit, 87 overall. And no scheme fit. <laughs> oh, I should have probably done hybrid. That's probably the best chance to get uh, speed. Damn. Oh, well. Uh, that's pretty much that. We already know the Sam's roster, the Seahawks roster. But we'll quickly go over it. Uh, Sigerson. I don't know how good he's playing with him. Don't even know if that's how you pronounce his name. Carson Penny. They usually do a pretty decent job against us. Metcalf and Lockett. Of course, Dorsett's usually the guy to do the most damage. So Metcalf, Lockett. Get those two guys locked up. And hopefully the third will fall just based on not having enough time to hit those two first reads. Dallas Goddard, 84 overall. Once again, we already know this O-line sucks, but for some reason it just doesn't matter when uh, we play his O-line and we play his D-line. It just seems like it doesn't matter. Overalls just disappear, and it's really just a game of, of random normal developments, basically, outside of, of course, uh, Bobby Wagner and Jamal Adams. Uh, we, we don't talk about those names around here. Cornerbacks, uh, Jordan Lewis, a little bit slower, a little bit shorter, but obviously Farley is uh, an up-and-coming, really good cornerback. Quandre Diggs is small, but he's done some damage to us as well. And then Adams, last season, actually had a game-winning force fumble right at the end of the game. So let's, uh, let's go on and uh, hopefully win this game without Howard. All right, he could look to run early. Maybe we should have brought a, a heavier run defense front. Rajad Penny is in, so it could be a run. But it also could be, uh, I can't tell. I mean, what am I supposed to do with that much time to throw, dude? That is so much time for that line. It's such a bad line. Ooh, good D. And there you go, sacked up the middle by Bowman. Bowman, third and 20. Backing him up, he's taking a shot. Mathis all over it, great defense. And that's a really good punt. Akers gets a decent run. And cup underneath, and we're almost out. Cup again. Good play. Cop drops it. Terrible throw. Well, maybe not terrible, but should have been out in front a little bit. You would have thought I had an X-Factor scenario with him. Akers on the inside zone. Terrible, terrible blocks, but we get away from Wagner. And he misses. Oh, my. All right, Rambo could be my look. I didn't think he was going to leave me that open. I thought he was going to get me with Wagner. Hit as I'm thrown. Jeez, good sack. Oh, my. Goff is actually selling right now. It's insane. Close to a first down. We're going to go for that. 
What is this? What the hell? Nah, good user, good user. Well, I mean, I guess good not user, but good decision. Actually, no, it's a drag buyer. He looks like he's in a blitz again. The rookie, Brennan. Touchdown. We really got to start throwing the ball to people we care about. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, it's not that I'm trying to force the ball to Howard. I'm literally just trying to, uh, you know, win the game. And that tight end position is very lethal for us. Like, you can definitely tell the difference between Brennan and Howard. Brennan is just not getting open anywhere near as well as Howard. But, obviously, uh, that route was pretty solid. Some of the other routes, eh. That route, good. But now I'm focused. 100% focused, so... Sorry, Samuel. Uh, things are probably going to get even worse. And yes, that is an ego shot. You know what? Who cares, right? Oh, Lord. I've, I lie. I lied. Things aren't going to get better. I lied. Yo, we are so screwed. And of course, guess, guess who? Good D. Not bad by Rap. Good job by uh, Burgess to help out. Hit him. Yo! This game. You just can't engage with people that are possessioning. I swear. I swear all all else doesn't matter. Maybe I should run for the pick. Actually, it might have been my fault. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, but still. You got nowhere to go. Oh, who was that? Was that Donald? Damn it. I don't know who it is, but... This D-line is making up for the absence of Chris Jones. Obviously, they've had a deal with no Chris Jones, you know, several seasons now. But they at least had uh, Brockers before. Good D. Four-yard gain. About to be the... Well, not even about to be. The start of the second quarter. He's got his tight end and possession again. Oh, I made a really good play. Donald uh, Oa, actually, with the the better play than we had. I thought we went by overall. Is Metcalf not the highest overall on his team? Double drag again, man. Obvious run look. Oh, I got stuck on the damn D lineman. Oh! Oh, come on, recover that! There you go, Burgess. Still gaining yardage. Please stop. Could be a quick throw out to the running back. And he's going to get it, dude. There you go. Mustafa Johnson. Is this superstar right tackle? Is it a rookie? Good bump. A nice tackle by Rap. Good job. Rap is so useless because he's slow. It sucks. I mean, I saw that route winning from the literal snap. Good D, good D. Gave him a lot of opportunities on that, but, you know, it be what it be. All right, Burgess, I'm kind of, nah, I can't rely on him. Could be a run, which would be a really good call. We would not be ready for it. We might have a chance to stop it, but we would not be ready for it. And we do have a chance, because I'm a god. I really, I like, I had a good idea that he could run the ball there. I didn't, you know, really defend against it, though. I think Bowman would have had him anyways. Akers, nice run. Hike it. Come. Goff. Ooh, good job, Byers. Taking all day. Like, come on, man. Hurry up. Like, what is... <laughs> Yeah, it's so hard not to complain, dude. It is so hard not to complain. Because there's just so much wrong with this game. He's not ready for the run, but he has all those linebackers up, so screw it. Ooh, good play. Good tackle. Maybe would have had cup deep, but that route is just too inconsistent for me to really believe in it. Good cornerback outside there. Oh, good play. Good job beating Farley, who I did not know was superstar, by the way. Thought he was only star. I probably should have known that, though. Good throw. That, that throw by Goff set the whole thing up. Throw it away. Ah, 
I had him. There you go. Good comeback, Acres. Good comeback. I don't want to always be rolling out, but I, I just feel like safer. Byers touchdown. Good throw, Goff. Diggs just stepped up so hard. Those deep blues. And they keep saying, oh, we're fixing them. We fixed them. Oh, we fixed them this week. Nah, we'll fix them next week. Eh, maybe next week. Maybe yeah, we fixed them last week. Nah, bro. They, they've never fixed them. Never will. Wrap, unlock it. Who is not covering their guy? What is that, by the way? He's going out of bounds, and my, my guy gets a chip chance. Who's not covering their guy? It was probably whoever we were. Like, the game probably thought we were still using him or something. Yeah, come on in. Water's fine. I thought he was actually going to run it there. Damn, he's wide open there. This play will work. We'll turn it into like a single high safety. Bring Rap in on the user. There we go. That was a good user by us. It's a, you know, it's the small things. And if there's anything I can do that's good, it's always small. What? Man, there's so many fun players to use on this team, and I just can't use them all. There's too many of them. Good D. Great tackle. We'll call a timeout here. It is not the two-minute warning, but thanks for... Thanks for playing. <laughs> Alright, boss. It's all you, buddy. It's really not. It's all me, but... We had a look. And Donald, or... Yeah, I think it's Donald is going to make the play. Now there's apparently another timeout. <laughs> I'm assuming that's... A oh, it is another timeout. Come on! No! My whole team! Our, this is our season, damn it! Come on! Bruh! Like, it's not a lot to ask for, but if we could just not. I really shouldn't be taking that on uh, Jamal Adams. Good job by Rambo. Should have taken that to Cup. Like, if I'm going to throw that to anyone, why wouldn't it be Cup? Tucker Brennan. Timeout. There goes Cuppy. Gonna, we do have a chance to go deep. They tell us to go for the field goal. I kind of want to go for it all, though. Like, I don't know if I trust the double move. Like, he's going to be defending the double move anyways. I don't know if I trust myself with it, though. You're going block, block. City, city. I don't even know what that means. Oh, Rambo! Let's go! He played it too shallow. What a play! Oh, what a hit. What a hit by Boss. Three-man rush, and I burst through the middle and kill him. Good job, Rambo. I was willing to take the shot. Three points is... I mean, three points is three points, in fairness, but... You know, fair enough. Oh, don't tell... Okay, I thought the game was in a glitch. I don't trust EA these days. He's got a lot of superstars. It's very tough to decide which way I want to run the ball. There you go, Akers. Flag? Wow. We're running again. I don't care. Damn, Jamal just made a play and a half for him. Brennan right down the middle, maybe? Rambo. Good first. Good first. Oh, it's terrible by me. I tried to right juke and then spin left, and I just... It just did not happen, obviously. So I didn't know. It's not that great. Oh, that was a little uh, suctiony. Brennan, do I trust Brennan to get open though? And he drops it. Yeah, don't you, don't you come over by Rap. Rap will kill you. Don't mind my dog in the background sounding like a flat tire. Oh, come on! Damn it! Come on, Bowman. We blew that play up. I got blocked really early, by the way. Not sure the rules, though. They are linemen, so they might be able to block early. How do I not know screen rules by now? And that's good D. Apparently stripped. Could actually help him. Job Donald. Perfect coverage. Well, Van Jefferson's back in the lineup. There you go. That should be a first. The, these routes, like, never work for me, by the way. Had the tight end. Good job, Rambo, and he dies. I do not know how he held on. Shoulder. Whew, fine. And he holds on. Rambo, you hero. What a god. 
Tucker Brennan dropping an easy pass, and then Rambo catches two passes he probably shouldn't have. It's just the way the game goes. Two touchdowns today puts him at four total. Maybe Rambo's season's not over after all. I don't know. Terrell Lewis, really good play. Obviously, he's nowhere near as athletic as Ebu can. Good play, though. I like it. Thought he was going to wait for the secondary route. Gets hit. A couple of things happen that he, you know, that pick before half that maybe should have been a pick. We'll have to take a look back at it. I, I don't know if he played it too shallow. It's the story, but I definitely thought it was going to be picked. I actually thought it was picked. And there's Owa off the edge. Is it OA? It might be OA. Got to be crossers. 100%. He should go to the tight end. He should go to the tight end. And it's the crossers. Crossers may work often, right? But crossers ain't going to work that often against an okay user like myself because it's pretty obvious. As soon as someone sees that formation, they automatically think crossers are inside zone. One of the two, simply put. No arguments about it. He's also backing up way too far with his quarterback, which is hurting him. And I am the expert at that, so I should know. And boss drops. I switched to him, but I, I guess not in time. I don't know. Oh. Akers, please don't die. Van Jefferson. Down to the 30. Goff having a day. All right, McSorley. Elite hander offer guy. Nice run by Calais on the first try. McSorley. McSorley Rambo touchdown. That's what you get for. I, mean, I don't want to say that's what you get because I like Sam a lot, but you know the the competitiveness gets to me. Okay, that may be a result of run committing too much. That is it. I am just stating factual evidence that I have concluded in my research. And he's hit again. Did not know how that's not grounding, by the way. I don't want the sack. I want the freaking pick. <laughs> that's what I want. We dropped a lot. And both are linebackers. Like, the guys that are dropping are linebackers. And those are the guys, like, specifically boss that I want to develop. Could be a screen. Yo, uh, his line does kind of suck. The youngster, Mathis. Good play. This defense is legit. It is so good. Let's see the dimes from Trace. He's going to throw it short. Oh, no, not Rambo, though. He's got like 100 catches. Hmm. Hey, welcome to the pain of guys just standing around doing absolutely nothing. Griffin's too tall to be. Oh, Ramsey, you individual. Get down. And Jamal with the effort. Oh, don't go in. Jesus. <laughs> I just want to get most of my yards back. Thank God it's nothing big. They tell me to go for it, really. To be fair, I do like this lineup a little bit better. Griffin's got a lot of potential. I just got bumped so hard by my own guys. Good job, Griffin. Guys, you are moving quite far. Oh, Griffin would have had it. I don't know why he thought that was open. I thought it was going to be... Oh, he actually just took it straight up. I thought it was going to be crossers. Good change up. Like, obviously, it's not always crossers, but... You know, that's obviously the first thing people are going to look to. Honestly, we should start using the crossers look more often, but just not actually run crossers or inside zone. And there goes Donald again. Three sacks on the day. And there goes Ramsey again. And they're going to call P high. Damn. He had his guy over the middle. I don't know why he didn't take it. And overthrown. That is rough. I will say maybe, maybe we get there. Damn, I think that was uh, 
that was just an animation because his guy did look pretty open and as soon as he threw it over there our guy kind of suctioned so it, you know it kind of looked worse than it was i think it was it was a fair win that he's made it look really dramatic now that one i can't agree with that one was was not the case that was a x factor in the zone cornerback getting mossed by metcalf we get a pick with mathis Throw it away. Grounding penalty. Want those defensive numbers up. And Jackson picks it. Of course, some of the screenshots for today's game. Brennan got a touchdown, which was nice. Hopefully, Ramba didn't have too many of the catches. I know Byers was getting there for us until he got injured, unfortunately. But, yeah, not a bad performance at all. Running game, we probably should have ran a little bit better. But I think the passing game was kind of opening up. A little more than usual just because he was uh, kind of keen on the run at times. There's a couple of plays where we caught him out trying to blitz really hard or run commit. So, you know, I mean, it happens. Sam's team got overwhelmed more than he did, in my opinion. There's a couple of plays that even even though he did get picked, I thought maybe he should have had a touchdown or a catch. So an unfortunate break for him. Uh, it's really surprising that we still got the pressure we did on him with the pass rushers we had because obviously we were missing two but ironically enough, with just our two that we have, we still debatably have one of the best lines in football. Obviously, maybe not for run defense. That's another thing he probably should have kept doing is running the ball. Trace McSorley with almost the best passer rating in the game. Uh, Jared Goff with 153.3. Close to a perfect rating, but not perfect. Uh, very, very solid, though. And gives him one, one step closer to potentially winning MVP this season. I'm not really sure if he has a chance, but... I mean, he's having some pretty good games here. The season's been pretty solid for him. Uh, as far as running, I don't want to talk about it either side. Rambo, probably benched. Love it. Uh, DeBuyer's not nice, dude. Now Rambo's going to get benched. Sweet. Uh, what else do we have? Tucker Brennan, 3 for 40 with a touchdown. Byers, 3 for 45, got injured with a touchdown. Cooper Cup, 3 for 43. Uh, no touchdowns. Uh, Van Jefferson, 1 for 44. Uh, what else do we have? Sacks. Aaron Donald, three sacks. Mustafa Johnson with one. OA with one. Bowman with one. Uh, interceptions, Josh Jackson, Ramsey, and Mathis with one each. I thought we had more picks than that. I ain't going to lie. Force fumbles. Ibukam and Donald had some. Uh, and what? Wait a minute. What? Since when? Justin Houston. Is he even in the league anymore? Wait, what? Or right, we have some upgrades. Uh, a few interesting ones. Mustafa Johnson. Uh, all three of these guys are the players that should have had their upgrades before the game started. Finesse move. It's tough because block shedding is important. But I feel like finesse allows him to get to the quarterback faster. Which obviously in turn will give him more upgrade points. So it's kind of a 50-50 one. I think that was the right call though. Raymond Calais, he actually runs the ball pretty well for us, so I'm going to give him an elusive. I think we were going to go with a, you know, receiving first, but nice. 5,000 XP to upgrade per time for a low overall, and I get awareness. I'm happy about that. I can't wait for Jared Goff's upgrade. That'll obviously be so great, too. Uh, power is always a great upgrade for linemen, and that's what he needs the most, so I'll go for it. And he does get an overall upgrade. Four points, and like I said, it's always the best for linemen. Two run block is solid. Power is solid. Awareness is solid. And then strength, in theory, is solid. I think there's a lot of uh, arguments about what strength even does in Madden, so who knows. Uh, as much as I would love to just go like medium or whatever, I suppose his deep accuracy is the lacking one, and he'll get scheme fit if he gets this. So 84 overall, 5 upgrade points. He gets a decent upgrade, I suppose. I wish it was a throw power in there. Break sack means absolutely nothing to me. Awareness, I guess, helps. Throw under pressure is nice. Medium and deep accuracy uh, I guess he gets the 80 break sack, so maybe that does help. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, 88 deep, 91 medium, 90 short. Goff is having a really good season, 89 under pressure. I wanted a new quarterback, and we may still go with a new quarterback just based on cap reasons and if he can't deliver this pretty much super team. Oh, we have a new injury, I forgot. Uh, this pretty much super team to a Super Bowl, I mean, something's got to give, right? So, We'll see what this new injury is. Can't wait. And uh, Ibu Cam added to the list. So nice. Two high, high level tier pass rushers out. Of course, Ibu Cam will only miss four games, but you know, it still sucks to lose these guys, especially you know, guys that are having 
really good years. I mean, Ibukam was on a tear for a while there, and then, of course, you know, here he is. Ibukam with five sacks. That's, I mean, no chance at Superstar now. Uh, OA with five. Of course, Chris Jones, more of a run-stopper guy, but he's been dominating too. Aaron Donald is just Aaron Donald. Uh, I can't believe I actually thought maybe there was a chance I would let him go. Yes, he's regressing a bit. I don't really care. I don't care that he's regressing. He's staying on the team until he literally retires. He had a bye week, of course, but Jared Goff before that bye week did get player of the week, which is obviously uh, nice because that was the first of the season. Uh, Duckworth, superstar X-Factor, definitely a lot of upside for that young man. Todd Gurley, the starting running back with Hills, the guy that usually does the most damage against us as the number two. Kyle Juszczyk is still there. Debo Samuel, Calvin Ridley, and Tylen Wallace uh, lead the three wide receivers. Some pretty nice speed there at uh, wide receiver. Kittle, basically the best tight end in football, even though Howard plays like it. Uh, Cade Mays at left tackle. School at left guard definitely needs to upgrade that line. That line is pretty abysmal. Of course, the tackles aren't terrible, though. Cameron Jordan's still there, still balling out. Malcolm Ray looks like some sort of rookie is starting for him. Not a bad-looking name. Eric Armstead at number one. Kinlaw at number two. Really hasn't developed that well yet. Dre Greenlaw, speaking of guys that have developed well at the left outside linebacker spot. Fred Warner at middle. And then right outside linebacker, Demetrius Flanagan fouls. Uh, as far as corner goes, TJ Carter is getting better and better by the year. Yadam is actually pretty solid. John Reed, I don't even know who the hell that is. Uh, and then free safety, Melafonwu, 6'3". Little bit on the slower side, kind of like a taller wrap. And then Jaquisti Tart still there looking strong. I'm surprised he's still there and, like, not completely terrible. I thought he would have regressed hard by now. As far as upgrades go, Jason Owa, the man that has to pretty much carry the edge. Going to go with Run Stopper, 89 overall now. Let's see if we can get some Block Shed, and we do. I will take that upgrade. Hip Power, Strength, and then two Block Shed. What's his strength, anyways? 84 Strength, not bad. 68 Block Shed, almost in the 70s. I don't know if that's going to give him some sort of magical boost but hopefully it does and mathis we got to go man coverage as much as i want his uh his scheme fit man coverage is just too important in this league and we get plus three so now he's 72 man 75 zone wayne byers i mean i feel like release is always the best thing i want him to be our deep threat guy but with that being said i'm gonna go slot because <laughs> i think the catching is a little more important to what we get Short route, medium route, one catch in traffic. It's not the worst upgrade in the world. All of his route running stuff is now at an 80 plus, uh, or a green plus, I suppose, is what I meant to say. Block shedding. I really don't like run support upgrades, but we're going to go with a run support upgrade. Does not go up, and overall, that could be bad. And yeah, I'll, take the, I'll take the awareness kind of stuff. Play rec is only 77, so definitely, definitely helps there. I don't know when corners start to regress, but he's only 28. You know what? I'm just going to keep the upgrade point, actually. I'm just going to hold it. He doesn't really need to be any better. We'll just use that to counter any regression. So let's get into this game and hopefully not embarrass ourselves. All right, here we are in Santa Clara, California for today's nighttime matchup. I'm already stoked because of that. Oh, we got a wildcat look already. This probably is going to be the sweep, right? Oh, it's a throw. Oh, I missed the hit stick. That's my fault. Oh, good swat. Good swat there. Oh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Oh, he's going to run it. I didn't think that was going to be the case. Good tackle by us with Boss. He's stacking up that right side quite a bit. Oh, good tackle there. Who is? Who even is number 59? Terrell Lewis wears number 59. I wonder why he never did well. We had this man at number 59. Are you kidding me? Good D. Really good job by Oa. Oa was the uh, the master on that play. And that's going to be grounding. We're going to take that penalty. I don't trust it. Thank God. I thought for a second it might have been a late hit. Oh, there goes Calais. Oh, no. I tried to spin. That was a nice little run, though. Nice little run back. Oh, nice move by Cop. Thank God it was no hit stick. Nice throw. Goff with that power, dude. I really did not think he was going to get that that late. Like, I just I completely missed that play. 
Looks like a run, so we're going to throw a play action in there. What the hell even happened? I just got assaulted. The hell? This guy just assaulted me. Run to the left after he comes up. Good set of blocks. Oh! That... Good job, EA. I'll take it. Oh, to the outside. Good tackle, good tackle. Good use by him. Just glad we didn't give up anymore. Good tackle. I don't know what the hell happened to Oa, but he died. Bring the blitz again. Looks like it's going to be an option play. Can't tell, though. No. Nope. I really thought he just had a billion people open there. I don't know what happened. I really thought his whole team was open. Who's on who? Oh, that's Griffin. I thought that was... I thought it was a linebacker. He's so big, dude. Yo. Well, we both got kind of screwed. That one probably helped him a little more than ours helped us. Because at the end of the day, if ours... Uh, you know, if he tackles us at the, like, two or three, you know, it's fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But that was... I mean, that's a potential punt. I can't believe our guy didn't get a hand on it. It's rough. God damn, that's a good user. I actually played like such a G there. Come on, somebody get pressure. There we go. Good pressure off the edge by Terrell Lewis. It's going to put him at the 40, which should put him in range. Besides the punted, I, I guess he's out of range. It's probably some wind. The hell? The hell was that? <laughs> come on, dude. I think by definition it technically is, but, like, let's be honest, dude. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> really? I wasn't even going for the ball. Jesus. His pressure got there, too. Inaccurate ball. I mean, hey, I'll, t I'll take... If that's an inaccurate ball, I'll take that every damn day of the week. Golf, you keep throwing an inaccurate ball. You do it. I was told this place sucks. So I'm going to throw it anyways. <laughs> The PK or way. Brennan inside. Slips off. Gains about uh, some yards. That should drag him out a little bit. Oh, come on. Wow. We, good job, O'Neal. There you go, Brennan. Damn, dude. This coverage is solid. Good coverage. I mean, ours is probably really solid, too. I just, I'm just, i just so focused on the interior and the D-line that I, I don't usually see, you know, stuff on my own. He's playing the outside, so I should be able to hit Brennan on the inside. What a throw! Oh, my. Seeing the field pretty well here. But I will be honest, I have no idea how I got the time to throw there. No idea. He's got Kittle, and Kittle misses it. It was a little bit of a high throw, but Kittle should hit that catch. I don't know if he... I mean, I'm assuming he has feet and bounds. I mean, if he doesn't, then what's even the point of being the best tight end in the game? Should have every trait pretty much locked. Jesus, Terrell Lewis, I hate you. I hate you, but I love you. I don't know. we are running a lot of man coverage today, and it's, you know, it's kind of work, so... Oh, who is that? The coverage... And that's going to be a coverage sack by Oa. There's nowhere for him to go. Man coverage locked. Cup to the outside could be the look. And that's a pretty good throw. Cup is gone. I don't even know what to tell you. He stepped up with his user and then... I don't know. I, I, threw, I knew from the start it was going to be open, but I thought he was going to have the safety over top. Donald. Good tackle. Oh, Jesus. I almost died there. Oh, dropped. Dropped 14 times. This is a tough one from James. Oh, there goes Jackson. We came with the blitz and it worked. Maybe not. What? First in, that's the first incompletion of the game. Oh, Rambo. 
I don't I don't know what to tell you. Like anytime we play him, he just I don't know, dude. I don't know if it just gets in his head all the other matchups. Good throw out to Kittle. We brought a four man. It was it's kind of a blitz because you know some players came from spots they normally wouldn't come from, but eh, not really a blitz at the same time. Hizzy's thrown and Griffin's gonna get a pick. Oh, good D by Byers, you hero. Good D by Fred. Oh, Fred just hit the invisible wall. I didn't think he was actually going to go for that. There goes Byers for another touchdown. I don't know what his corner's doing on the edge. Miss hard on that one. Oh, good hit, boss. Damn. Calais, nice little run of five yards to start out the, the half. Oof. Ooh, he almost got that. Good pressure off the edge. Ooh, Jesus. Todd just went hard there. Right from the 40, running the ball very well here. And wow, is that Donald just carrying... The entire left side of his line. Oh, my. It was a fullback dive. Use check one yard short here. Good job, boss. Oh, my. Oh, my. I had the cutback lane. He had, I mean, he almost had the whole thing. I think he would have got there if he didn't get bumped by his own guy. Absolutely insane. Or whoever got him. Bosses. I mean, that's an AI boss. You know, if, if it was us, fair enough. Doesn't really matter as much. We had his guy. Damn, Bowman's off uh, a little bit there. Man coverage with Bowman's probably not the greatest call ever. He's got him over the top. Ooh, Griffin. Good job. Good tackle. I thought he was going to go back to the middle because his guy was about to get wide open. I thought it was a pretty good decision by us. Oh, drop by Ramsey. He has to throw that sooner. His guy's open. He's got to throw that sooner. No, I didn't get to the... Damn it. And drop by Griffin. No! Good throw to Byers. Oh, our guy missed. The hell? Oh, look at Donald. Crushed him. Ooh, Kittle drops it. Donald chases him down. And then fump. Hello? Well, that's going to be the game. Once again, I, I don't know what it is. When me and him play, our team just goes off. I mean, once again, our team is absolutely insane. So no matter who's playing us, we have a really good chance. And there really should be no excuses. Even when EA screws us, we should have the talent to get it out, uh, to get past it. Of course, 37 to 0, uh, you know. It, it is what it is. It's just sometimes that happens, especially with this roster. Like I said, it's insane. We have a couple of injuries on defense, but even with those injuries, we're still probably a better squad than uh, most teams in the league. So, yeah, we, we really need to put a damn Super Bowl together. Otherwise, it's going to look pretty bad because this team should be good enough to win a Super Bowl. It's just, are we good enough as a user? And, uh, <laughs> hey, you know, don't, uh, don't ask me that question. I, uh, hey, hello. <laughs> but looking at the quarterbacks, uh, of course, he was swinging. He was uh, he was slinging, and unfortunately, these guys just weren't open often, and uh, his blocking just wasn't great. Goff had a pretty damn good game, obviously. Calais and Akers almost exactly similar. Both fumbled. He didn't recover either of them, uh, unfortunately for him. 
As far as receiving goes, Byers, I thought it had a way bigger game than that. Cup had a nice game because of that 70-yarder, 65-yard, whatever the hell it was. Byers, a nice little game. I want Byers to get going. I would like Rambo to get there too, but you know, he didn't have a terrible game, I suppose. Uh, Donald with two sacks. Mustafa with one. Oh, well, with one. Two for Burgess, one for Jackson, one for Griffin. Uh, who had the total tackles? Boss. You know, I mean, I don't even know why I asked that question. You already know Boss was going to have it because we were flying around the field as always. Boss has a pretty decent chance at a potential dev up this year. Of course, Burgess uh, just got a contract. Two picks on the game. Played really well in general. So you never know. Could have himself a superstar development breakout next week that we obviously will fail miserably. Uh, he doesn't go near the line of scrimmage often. So it's pretty much going to be forced fumbles or... Or picks, and let's be honest, we ain't we ain't seeing much force fumbles out of Burgess. So I'm just going to be uh, honest. All right, we do have some upgrades. Aaron Donald, once again, another guy similar to Ramsey. I suppose he is a 98 overall, which is insane to me. But obviously, he's not really missing anything right now, so might as well keep the upgrade points as high as we can go, which obviously will not happen. Maybe gets one more by the end of his career, but, you know. Uh, Daniel Fa'alale, let's take a look at those ratings. So, run block finesse. Let's do run block stuff, so maybe... Agility. Yeah. And then Mr. Tuck and Renan, who had himself a decent bit of a game. Howard obviously going to be in full effect again soon. Tuck and Brennan not looking too bad in fairness, but obviously uh, not the big issue. Of course, I don't know if I mentioned it, but Julius Griffin did move up the ranks. Oh, he's a charger now. LA to LA. But uh, he moved up the ranks a little bit because Rap, I just don't think... Should be our number one uh, strong safety anymore. He's just not fast enough. And as we know in Madden, all that matters is speed. So might as well just work with what we got. And eh, I guess we'll upgrade Gary Jennings just because why not, right? Like he'll be off the team, but at least he'll be a decent looking player. And yeah, not a bad player. I mean, he's he's on the older side at 26. He'll be 27 in free agency. But this is a, a really solid player to have as a backup. You know, I don't know why... Uh, Sam didn't use this guy as a starter. I'm pretty sure he was on the Seahawks to start. I mean, he's a really solid-looking player right now, and he was pretty much never used in his entire career, so we'll see what maybe somebody has in store for him in the future. Anyways, though, that is going to be Week 11. We're looking pretty damn good. We are about four, maybe four and a half games above the rest in the division, finally showing what this team should and could do. Uh, what about the injury report? Can I actually see the players now? Thank you. Three more weeks, so two more weeks for Ibu Cam. Unfortunately, four more weeks for Chris Jones, but hey, I'm cool with it. Got to keep trying. Got to keep trying, and that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jerome Picare, second channel, Picare Plays, and then twitch.tv slash Jerome Picare for streams that are not Rams related. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for the next video, but until next video, uh, see ya! How is he going to tie this to the boat? This is the new boat. Kid, that's your boat. This is my boat. Tree in one arm. Fat bitches in the other. What? Like, this is this is the definition of me bringing in, like, a 12-pack of soda into the house. I'm a child. I explore. Oh, he's got tattoos. This kid's freaking wild. And someone needs to put this kid in the scared straight program. That just looks like Uncle Tim when you're, like, taking a bath. Uncle Tim, get out! I'm naked! That's the best part. I can't, I'm not gonna. No, no, no. Whoa! Found it. Slow down, boy. That's what we're hunting?